guys, welcome back. I'm Hungerman97. Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode. Don't forget to check out GruntTalksMLB.com. My buddy Darren is over there. That's his website. He's got my videos hosted on his website, but he's got a lot of cool stuff as well, like up-to-date baseball breakdowns, funny stuff. He's got a great YouTube channel as well. He's put, pumping out a lot of content on that. Uh, they're really funny, and I like how they're, they're really quick videos. You can just watch them. Find out what you're missing <laughs> and move on. So thanks for that, Darren. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please go down and hit that subscribe button while you're thinking about it. It helps my channel grow and I really appreciate it. Let's get started with this error. So a Junk Wax card, 1990 Fleer, Players of the Decade, card number 624, Cal Ripken Jr., the Iron Man. Okay, so this is a cool one here. I recently picked up this fourth variation to round out my collection of these cards. The Cal Ripken name is misspelled on the front. So it should be R-I-P-K-E-N. They got an I in there at the end. And that is wrong, which is really funny because they've been around a long time. The Ripken name is a baseball royalty name and he's been playing a long time. Already established as like a future Hall of Famer and they managed to misspell his name. Well, kind of Kind of sad. But the cool thing about this is there's four variations because on the back, it may say printed in USA or printed in Canada. I'll show you the Canada one here, down there at the bottom. So basically, Fleer did issue this in Canada. And while they're a lot less common, definitely more rare, they're not really worth more. Collectors don't really care about the Canadian release even though they are quite a bit more rare. This parallel set was exactly the same in appearance. There's no French words like the tops did with OPG. It's just all in English. And the only difference is that copyright at the bottom. The errors that were made in the base set may or may not have come over to the Canadian release, which is interesting. But this particular card the Ripken name is misspelt in both the US and the Canada. So pretty cool, four variations. I was excited, but then I learned that there's more. There's more than four. There's actually six total variations because the USA one has a couple of variations I wasn't aware of till recently where the USA has dots in it, periods, but at the end of the A on USA, that period may be missing. So again, not any more valuable really, no extra value associated with it. So there's a total of six of these Cal Ripken Jr. cards, the Iron Man. And do you guys have that six pack of Ripkins? If not, they are pretty inexpensive to pick up. I think I got the most expensive one for a little under 10 bucks. Other, other than that, they're all like a couple bucks each. So pretty cool one if you have it. Leave some comments down below if you know about it. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to check out my buddy at grunttalksmlb.com. My Darren, my buddy, my Darren. <laughs>